Uh, good morning, folks. Uh, today we're going to be playing Dice United. Uh, it's a game from Stone Mountain Press. Um, I quite like the game. It's a results-based game. Um, the more I play the game, the more I really get into the game, the more I really quite enjoy the game. Um, this is a how-to video. I'll show you how to play if you're not familiar with it. I know I have a friend that uh, wanted me to, to show how to play the game. The first thing you do is you take the control ratings of the two teams. The United States is 7, Canada is 3. I'm playing a second game of a home-and-home. The home. Uh, United States won the first game 3-0. So what you do is you take a look at the control rating of the two teams. And for Canada, they're a minus four. So you go to the control chart and you'll notice that a minus four means their control range is gonna be one to seven. And the United States is going to be eight to 20. So I wrote that down on the sheet. I'm uh, gonna take a look at the aggression rating for the teams and you're going to roll some dice, and if the dice is between 1 and 12, you're going to go to the control rating of the two teams. If it's 13 to 16, you're going to have a pitch battle with Canada. 17 to 20, you're going to have a pitch battle with the United States. So I'll just get started, and we'll see how things go. Um, now, I have a tendency of rolling all the dice. On the timing dice for the first one, it's going to be... Uh, the D10 plus one. So I, whenever I roll a D10, it'll always be the black. So my black is a zero. So we're going to start off with um, just a one because it's going to be the D10 plus one for your timing. So that'd be zero plus one is one. I take these out of the way and my yellow dice is a six, which means I'm going to control. And 11 would be control for the U.S., once you see who has control, you check the defense rating of the teams. So here is Canada. Canada has a defense rating of five, and the blue die is a three. So the Americans are not going to attack. They're going to be defended. So you go to the um, defense chart, and you roll two dice. And we have a 15, and a 15 on the defense chart is... Defense 8 plus, and Canada is a 5, blocks the pass. Otherwise, corner kick conceded on a poor touch by the defender. So now what we're going to have is a corner kick for the United States. And if we roll for a corner kick, uh, we're going to roll a 94. And all the charts have different things. You can see 94, the defender clears the ball. So the ball is going to be cleared, and we start with the next timing sequence. So we roll. We take the 10-sided uh, dice. We have 9 plus 5 is 14. So we're going to add 14 minutes to the timer. We're now up to 15. Uh, yellow dice is a 17, so it's going to be a pitch battle. It's going to be a pitch battle for the United States. So pitch battle the U.S. And for pitch battles, we're going to go to... Um, I roll my dice together. It's just quick, fast, easy. Uh, we have a red six, so that's my D20, plus the aggression of the Americans. So they have a five. So six plus five is 11. So on the pitch battle chart, I go to 11. And in the first half, it says plus one, stern warning as the ref summons the players. So we're going to add one minute on. And you automatically one add one. So it's just going to be a warning. Uh, next roll, we have a 7 and a 9, which is 16. So we're now up to 31 minutes into the game. Yellow dice is a 16, so this time it's going to be a pitch battle for Canada. And we take a look. The red die is a 2. Canada's aggression is a 5, so that's going to be a 7. And zero time is added. A quick warning for a borderline foul. So this time Canada will get the warning. Still tied at 0-0. Zero, zero. 45 minutes and a half. 8 and 4 is 12. So um, 12 is give us 43. And our target number is going to be 45 plus 2. It's kind of a 47 is the timing for the first one. You can add minutes as you go. 
you automatically get one, and we had one for this. Um, our yellow dice is a one, so we're going to check the control, which is a 13. So the United States has control. And the defense die is a nine. Canada's defense is a five. So the United States is on the attack. So with two minutes to go in the half, they're going to be on the attack. United States attack is a six. So we roll a 30. A 30 reads attack for a six will be a corner kick. So it's going to be a corner kick for the United States. So go to the corner kick chart and you roll a 30. And a 30 on the corner kick chart is going to be defense two plus clears, otherwise a goal. And Canada will clear that as their defense is a five. So we're at 43 minutes. We're looking at 47 so far. We roll these ones, 07 is gonna be 50. So we are now gonna be in crunch time. So we take this die. And if I understand it right, we're still at 43, but it's going to be in crunch time because our number seven would have went up to 50. That's more than that. So you take the lowest dice roll as a three. And from this point on, we're only going to roll one die. So crunch time, we have a seven, which is going to be for control. And a red die 15 means the control is going to the United States. And they are going to attack because the 13 is too high. So the Americans are going to attack. We roll an 85. 85 on the attack chart. I don't want to show too many of the charts just because I don't want people photocopying and stealing the game. So respecting the rights of uh, Stone Mountain Press. 85, um, it says attack 13 versus defense 8. Uh, the United States attack is a six, so we don't have any options for that, so it was just a failed attempt. Uh, next one. Again, timing, we're in crunch time. We're only going to roll one die. We got a five. That'd be 48. That's higher than the 47. So that is the end of the first half, and right now it is 0-0. Zero, zero. United States is in Canada. Uh, starting the second half. Gonna roll, so it's a D10 plus um, one. So three plus one would be four. So we're in the 49th minute, we start at 45. Uh, two is gonna be for control. Three is control for Canada. Nine, we check the defense rating in the United States, they're in eight, so it's gonna be a Canada attack. So Canada is coming in. Canada has an attack rating of five. We roll a 67. And 67 for attack five is a corner kick. So the Canadians getting a corner kick. We roll 56 and 56 on the uh, corner kick chart is a keeper control. So United States makes the save, keepers got control. And we go on to our next timing. Uh, we got zero five, so we're gonna add five minutes. We're up to 54. Yellow die, we're gonna check for control. Five means it's gonna be controlled by the Canadian and they're gonna get another attack. Since the American defense rating is an eight, and we have a 16, so the Canadians again, another attack with a five. Roll the 43. Keeper challenge, when attack greater than the opposing keeper. Canada's attack is a five. The keeper for the United States, Turner, is a nine. So that's not going to be a chance for a goal. Uh, so it's going to be a corner kick. The keeper charges out and deflects the shot. So it's going to be a corner kick for Canada. And the corner kick, 64, is going to be keeper control. So again, another save by the United States. Uh, next roll, we have a uh, 9 and a 3 is a 12. So we're going to have 66 to the timer. Uh, 20 is me a pitch battle for the United States. So pitch battle U.S. And we're going to check the red die, which is a 19. And the aggression is a 5. So it's 24 in the second half. It is going to add one minute to this 
thing. We're going to start off with three. That will automatically add one minute. And we're going to get a yellow card. The captain runs interference for an angry player. So yellow card to the United States. And take a look at the United States. We'll see who's going to get the booking. It's going to be 58. And 58 is Miles Robinson. So Miles Robinson will get the yellow card. And 66 minutes in, it's still 0-0. Zero, zero. Gonna roll, we have a seven and a five, which is 12, which gives it, brings it to the 78th minute. 14 is gonna be a pitch battle for Canada. And we have a one plus a five, a five for the aggression is a six. Second half six is zero at a time and a quick warning. So warning to the Canadians. And we play a 90 minute half. So we're actually looking at 94 right now. You get three extra minutes in the second half plus one we have so far. Uh, roll the dice. We have two and a nine, which is an 11, which is gonna make it 89. Yellow dice is an eight. So we're gonna see who gets control. Eight on the control is the United States. And 18 is going to be U.S. attack. So very late in the game, the U.S. is going to attack their attack of a six. Number 16, attack of six plus is a goal. So the United States scores in the last minute to take a one nothing lead. Let's see who scored this for the U.S. Uh, number 12 would be Christian Pulisic. So Christian Pulisic is going to put it in, and it looks like the United States is going to win both ends of this back-to-back. -back. They won 3 nothing in New York. This game is in Toronto, and it's currently one nothing U.S. with a late goal. Uh, roller timer die, and it's a pair of sixes. So 12 added on to there is going to go over our timing die of 94 so that would give us um <clears throat> 12 was give us 101 so you just take a crunch time with one die would be 95 that again would be over so the timing means the game is over this will end in a one nothing u.s victory christian pulesic scores in the 89th minute to break the heart of the canadians so this is um Dice United, super fun game. I quite enjoy it. The more I play it, the more I really, really like it. It's very addictive. Once you play one, you start playing all the time every morning. I'm just working my way through uh, World Cup and the CONCAF Cup with teams from Canada, the United States. Uh, Mexico, Costa Rica has ordered the World Cup 22 series. Uh, but that's tonight. Dice United, a great game from uh, Stone Mountain Press. Talk to you later, folks.